So one of the highlights of our of our uh, of our year is the unveiling of our new concessions food items, and to have the media come out and do a little sampling. And I'm going to let Jim explain it in a second, but he'll go through the ingredients. And when he was doing this with us a couple weeks ago, we were like. Oh my gosh, you're going to hear the things. You probably saw the description in the press release. And it kind of made the taste buds in my molars kind of stand <laughs> up on end. So I thought, we got to come up with a really we do. catchy name for we this thing. A name? And when you eat this, you're like, oh my gosh, my dentist is not going to like this. So, But actually, the dentist will love it. So what we've called it is the dentist delight. Because it's something that um, will keep our friends in the dentist industry in business for a while. This whole this whole concept, um, dentist delight, is something I just I've always dreamed about. I like to put flavors together. Um, we're at the ballpark. We got to have fun here. So uh, this is made with a a apple fritter. So the bun is an apple fritter. So right there we got the apples. It has uh, caramel aioli. So it's got a caramel like a caramel mayo uh, aioli on it. It has uh, brisket. <laughs> Because everybody's got to have brisket, right? It's the best meats out there. It's got some more caramel aioli. Um, it is topped with the top of the uh, fritter. Then we've got a little caramel sauce on this. And then we put it with a little caramel popcorn. And this is one of my favorite ones. This is called uh, pig candy. And so the big question is, does anybody know what pig candy is? And I'm going to tell you what pig candy is. It's, uh, it is a, a shoulder burnt ends. Uh, we deep fry them, very similar to like a chicharroni that we're all used to, but this has a little bit more meat on it. It is tossed in a maple syrup. It has brown sugar in there, and then I put a little bit of chili piquilla on it to give it that little kick, that New Mexico vibe. So uh, pork candy, serve it with a couple little tortillas. So then I came up with, I thought, all right, let's see what we can do for, I have a lot of people that ask me for vegetarian options or a vegetarian type of uh, option. So I came up with a non-flat bread, and the non-flat bread can either have chicken on it or it can just come with falafels on it. So we'll double the falafels um, and take the chicken off. It has a non-bread, it has french fries on it, it has uh, grilled chicken, <coughs> it has falafels on it, it has a tzatziki green chili sauce because we're all in New Mexico, so a lot of things have to have green chili. Um, and then it has cilantro on top of it putting a brand new noodle card out on the concourse. This will be something that's uh, new to me. I've always inspired with, um, you know, the, the uh, Chinese food or the oriental type of food, but this is a, a yakisoba noodle. So this is a Japan noodle. Um, it has a yakisoba sauce on it. Um, it'll come into a actual container. Um, I'll serve it with chopsticks and um, we can, we can do, um, we can do beef on this, we can do chicken on this, uh, we can do tofu. Last year I didn't have as many items out. This year I really I really tried to go from A to Z with everything as you can kind of see. Um, I wanted to make sure that I still kept the New Mexican tradition of using chili and, and, and that type of stuff, but I wanted to bring in some new types of flavors here. So I really wanted, I want, I want the isotopes to be a food, um, you know, a destination. So people come here, when they come to Albuquerque, they say, oh, we'd love to go to the Isotopes because I know that they have some great ballpark food out there. Not only do we have a great baseball team, but we're going to have a great culinary